Shalom, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Doron Auerbach, a uh, full professor at the chemistry department at Bar Ilan University, Ramat Gan, Israel. And I'm happy to uh, present uh, to you our results related to advanced lead acid batteries. Uh, I should acknowledge a very fruitful collaboration, collaboration with Oxial, a company who uh, produces uh, single wall carbon nanotubes. And I have also to acknowledge my team. I have uh, four uh, senior scientists with PhD working with me. The names are here. Dr. Shalom Luski, Dr. Anjan Banerjee, Dr. Yula Shilina, and Dr. Baruch Ziv. So we are all together a team of uh, five people working on advanced lead acid batteries. I lead the electrochemistry group at Bar Ilan University. Also, I lead the uh, Israel National Research Center uh, for Electrochemical Propulsion. Uh, so we have, uh, I believe, the biggest uh, research group in Israel. And the team who works on lead acid batteries is only just a small part of the group, but a very important and significant one. Uh, the idea is uh, to uh, develop long life lead acid batteries. Uh, we want to promote the use of lead acid batteries uh, for long term cycling, for load level application, and uh, definitely uh, there are uh, ways how to uh, improve the, perfor the performance of lead acid batteries. I would say that a major issue with lead acid batteries is uh, uh, short term cycling. Uh, we want to promote the uh, cycle life of lead acid batteries. This is the main challenge. So uh, here on the screen, you can see some um, major issues that we're trying to address. In general, uh, there is an issue of uh, uh, limited cycle life, uh, there is an issue of rate capability, uh, there is an issue of utilization of the active mass, all of this we want to improve. Now people realize that by adding carbon materials to the uh, active mass in lead acid batteries, uh, we can increase the performance. People talk about graphitic powder, carbon black, uh, activated carbon, carbon based nanomaterials, and we together with Oxial, uh, introduced single wall carbon nanotubes as a, an, an important additive. So what is carbon nanotubes? It's possible to produce uh, very uh, small tubes of carbon, which contains only one layer of carbon, like a tube, you can see the picture here. And these uh, tubes are very strong. Carbon, carbon bonds are very strong. And these tubes are also electrical, el electrically um, uh, conductive. So by adding carbon nanotubes, single carbon nanotubes, we can have nanomaterials which are added into the active mass and increase pronouncedly the mechanical strength of the active mass, the integrity of the active mass, and also the electrical conductivity of the active mass. And uh, I would say that based on our experience, we antici anticipated that this would be the situation, and we'll see that we were um, above our expectations. So um, here on the, on, on the screen, uh, we demonstrate uh, some aspects of our work. We work with a single wall carbon nanotubes, multi wall carbon nanotubes, of course, with blank um, uh, systems. We examine separately the positive electrodes, the negative electrodes, and full cells. Uh, here at Bayern University, we were able to uh, compose prototype lead acid batteries that then can be upscaled in the industry. So I believe that what we find here uh, is very reliable and related to the practical world. Uh, highly important is the issue of amounts. So in this table, in the table here, we show different amounts that we tested and we really uh, reached very small amounts, uh, which were demonstrated to be highly effective. And this is very important. Single carbon nanotubes is still uh, considered as a, an expensive material. I believe that uh, based on our work, people will realize how these materials are important. And uh, by mass production, it will be able to re reduce the cost. But 
if we come up with very small amount, and yet we found pronounced uh, improvement, as I'm going to show, then the cost is not a big issue. And this is a very important uh, message that I want to convey. So we can produce now an additive that apparently may be expensive, but with the small amount in which it affects the battery performance, we overcome this, this, um, this uh, challenge of, of, uh, of a high, high cost of the material. On the screen, we show very important data related to full cells, where we added carbon atoms to both negative and positive electrodes. And we compare cells with different amount of carbon nanotubes. The comparison includes multi-wall carbon nanotubes, tubes, which is now commercial product, and the single wall carbon nanotubes produced by Oxial. And uh, what you can see on the screen is voltage as a function of cycle life. Let me explain. Uh, we measure failure of uh, lead acid batteries by a drop of the voltage. So as far as the uh, lower voltage is a constant and we cycle and cycle, then it's fine. When the battery starts to fail, the voltage go down. So we have a very clear indication when the battery fails upon cycling. What you can see here is comparison between single wall carbon out tubes, multi wall carbon out tubes with different amounts. The blank is here, and we see that even when we add very small amounts, 0.001% single carbon out tubes by weight, we still have a very nice gain by threefold at least of the specific capacity and the gain is much more pronounced compared to multiple carbon nanotubes. So we have here a very clear, a very clear uh, proof that we found a very uh, powerful additive that can uh, uh, increase pronouncedly the performance of lead acid batteries. Uh, this table demonstrates um, uh, the, 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 the technical data uh, demonstrate um, different amounts, uh, so we can, uh, we can uh, skip it. This is for the technicians. And uh, uh, again, this chart demonstrates the way how we um, perform the experiments. We use the additives, the carbon atoms in both electrodes, but we also checked the effect of carbon atoms on each electrode. So we could work with uh, cells where one electrode was normal, uh, the other one contained additives. So we could uh, uh, decide which electrode is more critical in terms of the uh, improvement by uh, additives. So um, here you can, uh, here you can uh, see some uh, results. And uh, we compare single uh, wall nanotubes, multi wall nanotubes versus blank. And uh, you can see here uh, positive, negative, and cell. So we compare the electrode alone and, and together in full cells. And even in the in, in initial discharge capacity of the same cells, we can see improvement. So the, the presence of carbon nanotubes in the cells improve the capacity because it improves the integrity of the active mass. More parts of the active mass participate in the electrochemical process. Highly important issue is uh, rate capability. Uh, I don't want to um, enter into too much information how we measure rates and how we define rates, but I believe that what is presented on the chart is spectacular. We increase the rate, and we measure the specific capacity, and we compare different cells. So the blank, the blank are the lowest curves. And we can see that by using, by using carbon tubes, we increase the capacity at higher rates. You see, you see how the 
charts are higher as we have carbon nanotubes in the cell, and the effect is much more pronounced with the single um, wall carbon nanotubes. So here, um, here again, we, uh, we, demonstrate, uh, we demonstrate cycle life. We compare um, uh, uh, multi-wall carbon nanotubes and single-wall uh, carbon nanotubes, and you can see the effect. We are talking about five-fold increase by, um, by, by adding carbon nanotubes, and even if you have um, um, relatively small amounts yet, the, the effect is very pronounced. Now we um, uh, change electrolyte solution. Uh, in, in advanced uh, lead acid batteries, we use gel. Gel is a, is a way how we, uh, how we um, introduce the electrolyte system into the, uh, into the battery. So with gel, uh, we have more uh, uh, safe and uh, more easy to handle uh, cells. And um, even in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a first polarization experiment, we demonstrate that the single carbon nanotubes leads to lower voltage upon charging. Compare this curve to this one. And this means that, again, due to the effect of carbon nanotubes, the single carbon nanotubes, due to the <coughs> increasing integrity of the active mass, we, could, uh, we, we needed less voltage, lower voltage, uh, when, we polarize, when, when we polarize the cell. So the effect of polarization was less pronounced when the mass is more integrated and the, its internal conductivity is better. Here we also uh, compare the capacities. Uh, we're talking about advanced batteries. We expect that uh, in advanced batteries, the effect of additives, uh, of additives will be less pronounced because advanced batteries are generally better. But yet, when we add our magic additive, single uh, uh, wall carbon nanotubes, we can see improvement even in, uh, in the advanced lead acid batteries. And this is very spectacular comparing the specific capacity of a uh, uh, blank and uh, 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 a cell containing single wall carbon nanotubes. So we have even in a single cell, in a single cycle, in a single operation, the effect on specific capacity is, is, is great. So here we see a, you see a very coherent picture. We see how the, 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 the use of the, the additive, which is mechanically strong, which is elect <coughs> electronically uh, conductive, and is well dispersed within the active mass, the utilization of the active mass is better, even at the first steps. And again, uh, when we talk about uh, cycle life, again, now we're talking about advanced batteries. So one would say maybe here the effect will be less uh, pronounced because the battery is anyway advanced. But we see, again, a very nice gain when we add carbon nanotubes. So we have a, a, a gain of, a, of nearly five-fold by the use of small amount of single carbon nanotubes. And this, of course, better uh, than using multiple carbon nanotubes. Now, we have a very clear evidence how this improvement is being achieved. What you see here are pictures that were measured, obtained, by scanning electron microscope. And we compare morphology of the uh, material after cycling, and uh, so we see here, diff so um, here we compare, uh, uh, we look at the, the size of the, of the grains. We look at the size of the particles. And we see very clearly what happens, uh, what happens upon, upon cycling. The main issue with lead acid battery is what we call sulfation. Due to the cycling, we obtain big crystallites or agglomerates of uh, lead sulfate, which is the product of the discharge process. Lead sulfate is an insulating material. And uh, as the agglomerates of, of lead sulfate are bigger and bigger, and they become bigger and bigger upon cycling, then, then uh, we have less and less 
uh, utilization of the active mass, we simply cannot reach all the active mass and the capacity uh, drops down. What we, what we see here very clearly, if we compare between this picture and this picture, that indeed with blank cells, we have increasing size of the agglomerates upon cycling, while when we have the additives, the carbon nanotubes, we maintain small grains of the uh, discharge product. This means that we have much better networking of the active mass uh, with the uh, carbon nanotubes. So this co the correlation between very good electrochemical perform performance, extension of, of cycle life, and the morphological behavior, well, as we find in post-mortem analysis, here we have very nice coherence and correlation, so we can really explain well what the additives uh, are doing, and this is exactly what we would expect uh, based on our scientific uh, experience. So some uh, take-home uh, messages. When we think about carbonaceous uh, additives to lead acid batteries, we demonstrate um, very clearly the uh, superiority of single row carbon nanotubes. Um, we can manage with very small amounts. Um, so even, even uh, 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 less than per mile uh, uh, of, of in, in terms of, of weight of the additives in the, in the active mass uh, is very effective. And in such a way, while small amounts are so effective, the cost issue is not that um, um, problematic. Um, of course, we believe that the cost of uh, single uh, carbon output will go down and down, but even with the relatively high uh, 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 cost of today, I think that what we demonstrate here is that we have here a practically effective uh, additive. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, so now my presentation um, uh, Come, uh, is coming to its end. We demonstrated here how we can take a very old technology, lead acid battery is one of the oldest battery technologies, and yet a very effective one, very important one. And uh, we demonstrated that we can take old technology and by adding uh, modern, uh, novel additives, we can take this technology further, increase cycle life, increase red capability, and um, so it's a, a very nice combination of old technology and uh, novel uh, chemistry, new chemistry that uh, join together to uh, provide a very effective uh, uh, technology for energy storage and conversion.